Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since last upload uploaded any video. Um, today we will be adding one. So what we are going to build today is uh, this. This is a React app. Uh, we'll be implementing a functionality to uh, that supports multiple subdomain apps on a single React app. For example, if you go to uh, localhost 3000, you get a main app home. But if you go to admin.localhost.com, you get admin app home and then if you go to example dot localhost.com you go to a, a different app so these are three subdomains three subdomain apps uh, in a single react app that we'll be implementing today enjoy have seen in the introduction that what we uh, we are going to build an app that uh, supports multiple subdomain apps for example uh, if i try to go like app.localhost.com uh, localhost 3000 should render something else and if i go to like for example admin so it should go to something else and uh, xyz you get the point if i go to www it should take me to something else but um, as you know uh, one thing that I want to point out right now is since I, we are on localhost at the moment, uh, whatever I enter here doesn't matter uh, and as long as it, it, it is wrong. For example, if I don't have I don't have any subdomain set up in my app, it doesn't matter whatever I add here, I will still be rerouted to my main home, main the app that I have. If you deploy it somewhere, then you will only uh, be able to use the www dot uh, whatever your domain name is. Uh, and if you enter sub, any other domain name, you will be rerouted to a 404 page. For example, if I go to facebook.com and if I try to like go somewhere like this, this so this subdomain doesn't exist on facebook.com and the site can't be reached. So just uh, a heads up that uh, if you have something else, uh, if you are on localhost, this, this wrong um, subdomains don't work. So, on the code side, what I have at the moment is very minimal. Um, let me show you, this is my app. I am inputting a router from my router's, uh, router's file. This is my router. It only has one path at the moment and that is the home path and I'm rendering the app home page. And if I go to my app home page, I have this uh, one div with an H1 that says main app home and there's nothing here. So this is uh, a very basic thing that I have at the moment uh, and this is a boilerplate uh, React project with TypeScript. So we will go ahead and um, start with this. The first thing that I want to do here is I want to create two, two routers, right? The um, first router will be for my app and another router for my subdomain app. So let's just copy this and I will call this router. For example, if I, if you want, if you need um, a subdomain for admin, then I we have one on one. You can say router for admin router, and then we can also add another page for it. Um, let's not make a new file. You can also make a new file and create a home there. Um, so this is my admin home. Let's now admin app home here <clears throat> and instead of importing app home we'll import both and render admin home when we are inside here so uh, as you have seen uh, as of now we have a, uh, we have created another router but what we don't have is if you go to our app.tsx we only are importing this one app name router uh, app router and rendering that so if i go to my home route i only see that I uh, mean app page home, right? App home page. So we somehow want to find, uh, want to like, trigger a different router based on whatever we enter uh, in our URL uh, URL tab up, up there. So one thing that uh, for that we will um, create a, a simple um, a simple function. But before that, let's go ahead and the source folder let's create a folder uh, let's call this utils and let's call um let's first 
um, go ahead and uh, make a uh, file named constants. Okay, so we are going to put some data rel related to what router we are going to uh, be placing with what um, <coughs> with which URL. Okay, w what router will we be mapping to which URL? So we will have some different apps. Okay, it will be an array of apps. And uh, let's export this, otherwise it will be giving me error. So this, for example, one subdomain will be um, uh, subdomain will be uh, www. This will be our main main app, and for this, the app we will be having is app router. Let's import that from there, and <clears throat> this will be our main app. Let's give this. Um, let's just. Uh, I'm I'm going to uh, explain this to you later why I'm using this main tag here. But for now, let's assume it has some purpose, and let's have another subdomain. And this the subdomain will be admin dot, and we will be showing admin router. We will be mapping admin router to this, and this is of course not our main app. This is our main app. So we have a uh, constant that's um, that's created. Now let's go ahead and create uh, the meat of this uh, of this whole operation. Helpers dot yes. We will we create a, a helper function that will give us the app uh, according to what the URL we enter on our uh, URL. So let's create a function. Export const get app. And this will just return us uh, some uh, something. Let's also import our apps constant here. And now let's uh, first of all let's check, let's just check what we have entered onto the uh, on the console dot log. And if I just say window dot location. Uh, location dot hostname. What does this tell me? Uh, I'll have to import this in my app. Import get app function here, and let's just um, call this get app function here. And if I now go here and I open this, you see that I have the I have two colors. And if I enter something like um, admin dot. So this window dot location dot hostname gives us whatever we enter uh, up top here in the URL box. So we'll use this to find out which uh, router do we want to um, give our app to render. Let's create another function that will give us only the subdomain, not the entire hostname. Uh, and one thing that I want to mention uh, here, let's uh, get this signature done first. So one thing that I want to uh, Mention here is since we are on at the moment we are on localhost, so we are getting this localhost. And if we are on uh, if you are deployed to some app, some uh, domain, it will be like xyz.com or maybe uh, it will be like admin dot uh, xyz dot io or something uh, io or something. So you will have to uh, we'll have to adjust for that. And uh, so first of all, we'll have to get the subdomain from this localhost. And uh, we need to keep in mind that it can be either this, and if it is deployed, it will also have .com at the end. So, uh, what we can do, we can just first get the location in parts. So it will it will receive the location as a string, and uh, we can just say location dot split split at, at dot. For example, if we have this, it will be converted into uh, an array of admin and localhost and if we have this it will be converted into an array of admin um, admin and uh, xyz and com so two, two different scenarios I, we are either on um, localhost or uh, we are on this part so for localhost Localhost. Let's um, do this. Uh, let's check is 
localhost. Uh, what we can do is location parts dot slice minus one and get the first one then. No, and then compare it with localhost. So this will tell me if uh, we are on localhost. It will give me, uh, it will slice uh, the last part because slice returns the uh, element that it slices off. If this is returned, it will be true. Otherwise, uh, if we are on the uh, on, on the deployed app, it will give me form and it will return, it will be false. So what I can do now is I can check if is localhost. What I can do is I can get, um, let's have a variable and let slice fill and minus two. It has double L and if it is localhost, we'll just set it to minus one. And then return, we return location parts location parts dot slice and we will just slicing it to and this will just convert it back to string right I think this should do the trick if I if I if I enter nothing, I'm, I'm getting nothing. You can see this localhost is still from the, um, this one, that's not. So I get nothing. And when I enter www, whatever I enter, I will get here. So what we are basically doing is, we are um, slicing off, uh, we, are, we are checking. Now if the last uh, part, the last element of this array, this sliced, uh, this parts array is localhost, then we just slice off. Uh, we, we slice off one uh, one uh, one at the end. Otherwise, we just slice uh, two at the end and just return the first one. Okay, so now that I that we have um, subdomain, let's uh, let's start further. What do we want to do? Const app is equal to apps dot find. So what we want to do is uh, at subdomain is equal to app dot subdomain. So this will return me, give me one of the router based on whatever the subdomain is. And one more thing that we, I, we want to check if subdomain is a, an empty string. Uh, let's do this. Subdomain is equal to an empty string. We will just return apps dot main uh, first one um, let's do uh, one more thing let's get the first let's get the main app here apps dot find find app app dot main so this will give us this router this will be a return app uh, main app Mean, uh, let's just get the app here. Okay, let's see this main router. And the main router in this is not you know, the main router. What does this mean? Property main router does not exist. Uh -huh, this may be returned as undefined. Okay. So we are sure that we have to have one main app. Let's just say main. And let's say if no main. Um, so new error must have main app. Otherwise, just uh, return main dot app because that in the app that has the router, and this will also be app. Obviously, we'll find something. Uh, if we don't find anything, we can just return if 
no app just return main return main dot app otherwise return app dot app this is a little confusing but i think this should do the trick let's go back to our here const app is equal to this and then let's console the log this app if you see this is a function actually it is a router this is a this is the app router the name is app router and if i enter admin dot localhost i get um, let's see i get a different router this is the admin router and these are both returned from uh, from mm -hmm. here so now instead of just rendering out this app router i'll uh, instead render out this app uh, app does not exist uh, i guess this is this has to do with uh, naming yeah it just needs to be it needs to have the first letter as the the capital letter so let's uh, we don't need this we also don't need this and if i now go to admin so you can see that now that now we have admin app home and if i now go to localhost.com we have a main app dot home and just so um, just to confirm that this is working let's uh, add another router we can call this one example router and this will have um, a different page let's go to a uh, page let's create another page let's call this example home and this will be example at home and up top here let's import that example home and render that here so we also need to add the subdomain here that we need to tell this that if i enter example in the subdomain i need to um, render out this example router now let's go back to our app here let's close this and if i add go to admin.localhost.com we get the admin app if we go to example.localhost we get the example app and if i enter anything else we will get the main app because uh, inside here um, where, where, where inside our helpers when we didn't find it uh, when we didn't match any app we return the main application but this will not work if you have deployed your app uh, like subdomain on a different domain and uh, your main app on a different domain this will not work but we, it's good to have this otherwise like uh, it can fail so uh, i think this is it this is how you can have uh, multiple subdomain apps uh, on your uh, single single react app so if you go to you can see uh, i have we have a main app we have an admin app and we also have an example app and the good thing about this uh, approach is if you need another um, if you need to add another app what you do is you come here you add one part one one um, one element of this in this array you tell tell it what subdomain it will be you create a new router and create different routes for that and then you just give this that router and it will start working so i think this is this is where i will leave this thank you for watching please let me know what you think about this video what you think about this approach and if you if you will do it in any other way please uh, comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are not um, as, as always thank you for watching Thank you.